Louisiana Beer Reviews 20, Steel Reserve. Steel Reserve, high gravity as it's called, it's really just malt liquor, was introduced in 1998 by the, the Steel Brewing Company, which I think was really just a Miller creation all along. Miller Brewing has that tendency to want to try to uh, put out these false beer companies, but they really control it. Uh, Steel Reserve is interesting because it's 8.1% alcohol normally, but there's also a Steel 6, which came out in 2003, and it has a different design, a 6 on prominently displayed on the label. But uh, this is kind of weird. Uh, there's also a Steel Reserve Triple Export, which is not shown on the main Miller Coors page, but if you look under the nutritional area, it's listed right there with the other ones and the steel reserve triple export has the same exact alcohol content carbohydrates protein calories uh, everything the the nutritional uh, information is identical to the steel reserve 8.1 so I wonder if they're not ex really the same exact beer recipe just just sold with two different labels the silver label and the triple export black label it's curious um, the website said it's brewed with extra barley and select hops for a quote exceptionally smooth taste unquote. Um, it did win gold in 2008 for American style specialty lager that category at the World Beer Cup. So it, it uh, is well regarded by some people. Uh, on Beer Advocate it gets a C minus the bros, the brothers on there give it a B. My rating on there was a C plus. Rate beer gives it very bad reviews. Uh, the beer in me gives it a fair rating. I'll show you something here. Here is a bottle of Steel Reserve that I bought in Louisiana about 1998. It said. Uh, age 28 days. The uh, new cans and bottles don't say that. It's weird because when I bought this one here in Louisiana it's 8.1 percent alcohol. Okay, This is 8.1 percent. But the last 10 years or so in Louisiana, at least since 03 when they're talking about coming out with that uh, Steel 6, we've had the 6% alcohol steel reserve. And then now it just says SR, doesn't claim to be age 28 days. But if you go to other states, it'll be the same can design, but it'll be 8.1%. So I don't understand why that's done. It can't be because of Louisiana uh, law, because uh, there's other high gravity, they have lagers in the same store, be 10% alcohol 11 percent so it's weird this says union made this particular can so it must be a milwaukee uh, produced in milwaukee because the ones in texas at the miller brewery in fort worth is not going to say union made anyway we're going to go ahead and give this a try i've got i'm going to try to be open-minded of course and give it a fair rating here's a cold mug i got out the freezer these malt liquors tend to be better when they're served really cold so this is a pint here, can, we'll crack it open. As soon as I popped it open, I could smell that beer smell coming right out of there. Let's give it a pour. These have a lot of uh, carbonation, so you're going to have that head that's going to try to overflow. Okay, let's look at this Steel Reserve. Steel Reserve has a reputation for being very harsh, difficult to deal with. In fact, that's been my experience in the past. But I keep going back to it because sometimes I like these harsh, rough beers. You know, you like to change things up a little bit. You get tired of the same old 
mild things. Now, I don't know, it's kind of frosty there, the mug, but you can probably possibly see quite a bit of bubbles in the beer. It's got bubbles just streaming up the glass everywhere. You've got a clear, very clear, it's typical Miller product, very highly filtered. I'm going to say, let me put this by the light. It's not a straw color, it's a yellow color. Yellowish to golden color. So um, it's not too pale, but it's pale. It's a pale lager, really. Pour some more in here. You have a thick white head. It's pretty creamy, the head, really. And then there's those bubbles. Let's give it the smell tape, uh, test. <clears throat> okay. You can you can smell a um, a very uh, I'm trying to find the word a very uh, sharp maybe that's the word a sharp aroma a sharp uh, grain aroma I'm not sure the grain is probably it's well it's Miller so they usually use yellow corn grits so it's probably yellow corn I'm sure there's barley I don't know uh, obviously there's barley uh, the hop level is probably not well, you can't smell any hops. It's not an unpleasant smell, but you can smell the harshness, okay? I mean, it doesn't smell mild like uh, like if the last review I did was Coors Light. So it's a lot different from the Coors Light. There's not a lot of sweetness, really, although there's some. So it's an interesting smell. Um, if you're not used to drinking malt liquor, though, this could really come across as, as rough to your uh, senses. All right, it's time to give it the taste test. So here I go. Oh yeah, it's got that steel reserve harshness. There's a metallic aspect to it. The modern cans is not supposed to have that, but I always find that steel reserve. Um, but out of the clear bottle you might get a skunkiness I'm not sure Miller uses their special hops for the malt liquors to prevent the skunkiness okay this is really an interesting uh, malt liquor to drink You've got a grain predominance, barley and corn mix. You can't really differentiate, of course. There's a, a very or a relatively strong bitter uh, back taste. The back taste is bitter. So if you're not used to bitterness in beer, it's going to throw you. I'm used to it, so it doesn't really bother me. In fact, I like this. I'll, I like to get this sometimes because it's just got a different... Um, feel to it. It's, it's sort of bold. It's kind of powerful, you know. Uh, actually, you may not know. <laughs> and that's probably coming from the uh, the barley. I don't know what they're using, what kind of barley they're using. It's probably not real expensive. But with most Miller products, you can tell they don't just sling it together. It's done with care. They got a reputation to uphold. They can't be putting trash out. And they don't put trash out. You don't get the odd vegetable smell and flavor that you get with the Miller High Life and the Miller Genuine Draft, however. Um... You're going to be burping a lot when you drink this beer. It's got a lot of carbonation. But overall, it's really, it, it is smoother than I was expecting. Um, the website said it has exceptionally uh, good smoothness, and that's what they're promoting. This is the 6% alcohol, so you're not looking at a really strong beer. 
it's no higher than say Old English not really much higher than Old English or Mickey's a little bit higher than Magnum so you would say it's a lower lower level malt liquor strength and I have a feeling it's going to taste a lot different than the Steel Reserve 8.1 percent alcohol which I haven't had in so long if I ever get a chance I'm gonna buy that if I'm out of state and I want to I want to compare the two I'm gonna to have to revisit this this beer but um, if you want to try something different and you're gonna see this everywhere it's every every place that sells beer has steel reserve It's quite popular so it's been a success for Miller doesn't have that um, disgusting cloyingness that some or some people describe it chewiness that other malt liquors can have and this one is ice cold so if it warms up it might have that bad body to it the mouthfeel is sort of medium it's it's a full body beer uh, get a watery aspect to it though um, it finishes it does finish surprisingly crisp and it is pretty refreshing um, laissez le bon ton roulet this is a good beer I'm gonna up my rating to a B B minus okay I'm gonna give it a B minus it's not a solid good beer but it's good I recommend it it's probably one of the it's probably on the better side of malt liquor it's probably on if you had to cut in half half what what 50 percent of malt liquors would you consider bad what percent would you consider good this certainly would go on the good side of the malt liquor world so it's it's a respectable you know, not a lot of lace lacing there it's a respectable malt liquor um, <clears throat> excuse me you drink a lot of these you're gonna start being kind of silly and getting yourself in trouble especially with the 8.1 percent so I would recommend doing like I'm doing drinking at home letting it wear off before you go out and drive but it's you know it's not really that strong but it's a good beer solid it's it's got that Miller profile taste profile to it I recommend it I like it I'm glad I tried it I haven't had it in a, in a good while few months of since probably in the spring of 2010 so I I can't help but recommend this say you ought to go out and give it a try um, hey here goes Miller once again they they put out good stuff well I mean they're Miller they put out good stuff they're popular it's one of the most popular beer companies in the world that's why they get popular Miller Coors Budweiser Molson etc because they put out beers that millions and millions and tens of millions of people like okay um, you're not really gonna get popular putting out garbage that people hate so let's keep that in mind when we think about beer uh, I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans